welcome back to part two of my New England Patriots franchise. If you did not watch part one, I'm not going to hold it against you. Let's do a really quick recap. In the draft, we ended up getting Caleb Williams at pick three, and then we went ahead and traded up to get Malik Neighbors, trading players like Matt Judon away, and then we got the fastest receiver in the draft with Xavier Worthy. Our first game of the season against the Jags, Kill Williams threw a pick six and had some couple misses, but we still somehow came away with the win thanks to Stevenson. Then we somehow find ourselves in a game-winning drive against the shitty-ass Cardinals and we get bailed out by a pass interference, and then Stevenson runs it in the end zone for the win to go 2-0. Wins the game! Then we go against a 2-0 Jags team where Stevenson got hurt early on in the game. Without him, we suck, so we go on an OT and we lose the game off of this play. Then we go against the 2-1 Bengals where Caleb Williams had four interceptions. His worst game of his career. As you can see, the sorry throws all play no. And ended up losing this game. Surprisingly, we almost won this, but we lose off that interception. And on top of that, Xavier Worthy was out for four weeks. Then we go against the Rams where we came back to tie this game up late in the fourth quarter or so I thought. I'm just going to let this play out. We missed the PAT? Are you serious? Is this f***ing joke? Then we go against the 4-1 and one Seahawks and we absolutely penetrate this team, absolutely just bullying them and blowing them out. Then we go against the 2-4 and four Bills where I made the executive decision to at least get 150 yards of Stevenson, because if we did that, we got him to a superstar and that's exactly what we did. We sacrificed the game for that superstar. He doesn't really get anything good, if I'm being honest. Then we go against the 4-3 and three Jets where we have a game-winning drive yet again. And Caleb Williams misses a wide open touchdown pass and we lose the game. And then in a must win game, we beat the 4-4 four and four Colts in a pretty fashionable game. And Caleb Williams has an absolutely perfect game. And we even made a touchdown to a 6-7 receiver. We are into part two. We're standing up 4-5 and five and we have a huge game ahead of us. We really need to win this game against the Dolphins. But I do have some good news, surprisingly. Caleb Williams is a... Uh, Superstar, but Malik Neighbors is only a star. Uh, his abilities don't really get anything good. I already looked. Quick draw and safety valve are actually the only decent things here. War 4 and 5, they're 5 and 3. We win this, we surpass them in the division. This game is very important. Stevenson starts us off strong, but Malik Neighbors is tired on every single snap for some reason. I don't know if it's because he's injured or what's going on with him. David Andrews is already hurt. Alrighty. Great start. <laughs> One yard total. The Dolphins score a touchdown, so we gotta go and respond, and Kale Williams does not disappoint. Actually, if you're worthy, I thought Kale Williams missed him, but it's a dot for 75. Holy shit. At the end of the first quarter, it's a competitive 7-7 seven seven game. You can see the yards there. That bomb really saved us, but we have the ball back and have a chance to take the lead. Stevenson really quick. Let me miss him again. Oh. And Caleb Williams has a missed throw and we're forced to take a field goal. We get the ball back with about a minute left in the half and have a chance to extend our lead. It's a crazy throw by Caleb Williams under pressure. He's got him circle upwards. Xavier Worthy. Not an ideal play call for 10 yards, but we'll see. The dig's going to be wide open, though, for maybe the first down, and it is Malik Neighbors. Despite him being tired as shit. We run out of clock and we're forced to take a field goal and we hold a six point lead going into half. Our defense stops them out the half and we have the ball in good field position. Wide open. Wide but naked open is Hunter Henry. Clutch play. Wow. Stevenson's going to get the first rep here as he should in the red zone. Stevenson cuts up. Stevenson hits it for the end zone. Huge drive for us, man. Let's go. Our defense does their job and we're in the fourth quarter now. Five wides of the call. Stevenson's not even guarded. Stevenson's not even guarded. Stevenson's not even guarded. Stevenson's not guarded. Stevenson wasn't even... There was no one on him. And just like that, we put the nails on the coffin for this game off a wide open Stevenson and the Dolphins suck ass. We chew clock of Stevenson, but he ends up getting hurt again. So Gus Edwards comes in and gets a good run there to really seal this game. Stevenson, 100 yards on the ground, 7.2 average, a touchdown, did get injured. Um, a suburbs even had a touchdown for 29 yards. The same average, look at that, same average. 200 yards total, I meant. Xavier Worthy, 96, a touchdown. Malik, 50, 130. Looks pretty. Demario Douglas, a little, little shallow of a game, but we'll take that, we'll take that win. Ladies and gentlemen. 
Already on to week 11 against the 3-6 Bills. Last time we versed them, we didn't try to win. We got Stevenson, his superstar, and that was that. We ran the ball the whole game. This time, we're looking to obviously get the win here and get the tiebreaker over them to end the season. Egg. Um, The dig's open. On the run over him, Malik Neighbors catches it. Huge. We drove downfield, but we stutter in the red zone and then forced to take a field goal. The Bills respond with a touchdown, so at the end of the first, we're down four points, and then this dumb shit happens again. We'll take three off that. David Andrews has been injured three games in a row. That drive didn't go anywhere. We punt to the Bills, and they get a field goal. Now we're down a touchdown and need to score here. Circles got him. Xavier Worthy, good, good, good adjustment. But man, was Williams off today. Uh, maybe he was there. Oh, so... Uh... One on one. One on Oh my god. Damn it. Miss throw after miss throw, and we're forced to take a field goal. Then, right out the half, we have a chance to go do something, and Williams has a horrible and accurate throw that causes a pick six. But it really set me off here. I purposely does shit and then does different. Dude. Alright, I'm, I'm done with this. I'm, I'm simming the rest. I can't do this. I sim the rest of the game to savor my soul and my mental health, then we obviously get dog pounded by the Bills and a really bad loss and we fall to 5 and 6. Another huge game, Chargers are supposedly one of the best offenses in football, in Madden I should say, that's what EA was telling me. So let's go get a win. Right away, Stevenson was having a very good start, getting a lot of ground and pounds and then we hit a good pass for Hunter Henry for a first down and we are in field goal range already. Something here brother, uh oh. Oh my god, somehow Stevenson gets out of that. Wow, what a play. But then Williams goes back to being dog shit and misses a wide open crosser for a touchdown. Dude, Caleb Williams. The drive stalls out and we're forced to take three. Our defense does their job per usual, but then Williams picks up where he left off and misses a wide open seam. Wide open? We almost miss him. We actually do miss him. We do throw it way too far and wow, it's incredible how bad he's become. We don't convert, we punt the ball back, Chargers get a field goal and then this happens. Bad blocking, Stevenson breaks a tackle and he's hurt. He's hurt, man, it's a problem, he gets hurt every game. He's in the locker room too, he's not going to come back. Dislocated shoulder, man. Uh, Bruce hit. We're gonna have to sum up for 58 overall. Injuries have been killing us all season, and this game is no different. It's, it's pretty, pretty deep for... Lead us outside, miss throw. Oh my god. We kick the field goal, but then the Chargers score in a minute drill, and now we're in halftime down four points. Huge play. Look, probably looking for Gussie. Really quick. I mean, look how fast this pocket gets destroyed. They rush four. This mother on his ass. On his ass. The Chargers score a field goal. Now we're down exactly one touchdown, almost in the fourth quarter. Here we go. Make the throw over the top. Oh, it's there. We have to go for this. We have to go for this. Oh, no. Throw it quick. It's Xavier Worthy with the catch. Gus Edwards. Gus Edwards. Really quick throw. We unfortunately somehow stall out on the drive and is forced to kick a field goal. Here we, go, here we, go. we get the ball back with basically no time left and zero timeouts. Hey, cake, cake, cake. Damn it. Missed throw the ball take a half quarter so probably xavier worthy here pass interference whatever just like that we follow the five and seven i'm blaming this one on kia williams two missed touchdown throws and we didn't get any touchdowns in this game we're five and seven I did go out and sign some free agents uh, to just help our offensive line injury issue. Like every game now, someone gets injured. 
Added a new center, add some backup tackles. Uh, the rookie obviously can still get plugged in. Also got Matt Breida, 93 speed running back to help us if in case injuries again, because we have to go on a win streak here. We're clay literally five and seven, two games out of the division by week next week. It's uh, basically start winning out or go home. So uh, let's go get a win. This was a huge game. We're against the seven and four Jets and they're number one in the division. And we really need to start racking up some wins to make a playoff push. For some reason, EA decided that at the end of the season, all your players are tired and you can't do anything to fix it. I tried. So all our receivers are tired, but we're still trying to make plays, but we failed Knocked there. Knocked out. Good attempt. The Jets score a field goal and we're at a third and three. Go really quick off the break. Hunter Henry. Oh my God, Hunter Henry's gone. No, he's not, you slow piece of shit, man. Now we're at another third and three. Can't hold on to it. We're going to have to take a field goal, I guess. Our defense, let's let another field goal go. We'll take it, I guess. As long as we can just keep it one possession and have a chance to go take the lead or tie, we'll, we'll take that. Throw it really quick to Neighbors. Malik Neighbors outruns the edge. Malik Neighbors first down. Despite Williams' shaky start in the last couple games, this game he was cooking. We changed up our offense a little bit. Instead of going for the big bombs, we are going through the short passes and letting our receivers get that rack, and it was working perfectly. Big play oriented, so I think we need every play we can. Square right across the middle, it's Neighbors, catches it, flag, I think it's on face mask. Two minutes left inside the 20, have a chance to tie it up, have a chance to take the lead. Halfback, halfback draw, looks good, truck, take 11. Um, when did he get injured? Bruce shoulder. We're going to keep him in. Another crucial offensive line injury, been a problem all season, but we're going to take the risk and keep him in because we need to have everyone playing this game. We're tired of it. Stevenson, maybe? Just really just get down. Okay, it's fine. Um, Square might have him on the edge. Xavier Worthy is in! It's a huge touchdown. Out of the half, our defense gets a stop. We're up four points with the ball and in a good chance to take a two-possession game. Not very effective in our receiver. I think our receivers have been the main issue this game, surprisingly. That's an open seam. Malik Neighbors catches it on the run. Let's go. The drive stalls out and we're forced to punt it away. Our defense gets a great stop and we have good field position. The L route might be there. Douglas one-on-one -on -one, catches it for the first down. Wide open. Butt naked opens Neighbors. Does he have the speed? He does. Touchdown again. We're looking fantastic. We've never looked better. The short passing game was really working. Instead of hitting those deep crossers, those deep corners, and Williams missing a throw and causing interceptions, the short passing he was hitting every time, and it was working. Thanks to our defense, we have a chance to go and extend this lead. Maybe it's here. He is. Upwards. Huge. Huge free form. 14, 14 for 21, 170 yards, two touchdowns. This, this is arguing for Caleb Williams' best game. He's not taking shots in favor of playing safe, and he's making the throws. It's going to be open, aggressive catch. Neighbors catches it first down. Um, crosser's gonna be open on the run. Malik makes the throw. Neighbors, we were looking great, chewing the clock, and then this happens. Ah, Malik Neighbors is hurt. Oh no! God damn it! We can't be losing receivers at this time of the year. We do not have much depth in that position. Muscle cramps. He's fine. He's fine then. Thankfully, the injury was not serious at all, and we just sub him out because this game looks under control. Running the ball, chew clock, and uh, kick a field goal, and then hopefully defense just finishes him out. We kick a field goal, and they fail to score, and we get our win. And we win. Huge win, man. God damn, it feels good to finally win. Christ, it took a while, though. Stevenson, 123.4 grade, 200 yards, two touchdowns, 70% completion, perfect. Stevenson, five average. That's all we can really ask. Receiving-wise, Malik Neighbors went nutty. 100 catches, seven... 100 yards, seven catches, a touchdown. Huge game. Not an understatement. We're six and seven. We need the Dolphins, Jets, the Bills to lose, and we need to win against the Titans. We need to win here. Our loss here would almost be crucial. Would almost be season-ending. This one. Stevenson. Stevenson, just try to get a couple. Get two. Every game now is crucial, especially this one, as we're slowly falling out of the division. We're down by two games and really need to get to shit together against the 5-8 and eight Titans. And let me tell you, this game is a roller coaster. Starting with this. And beat him to the edge, Stevenson! David Andrews' first game back, by the way. His first game back, he's hurt again. 
What a waste of a space, eh? And then throw in this. Xavier Worthy? <laughs> Despite all this, it's still a 0-3 game. Feel the pocket crumbling. Art one's gonna be there. Wide open is Douglas. He's been quiet the last couple games, but comes up big there. Square's gonna be there. What a throw by Williams. Holy shit. And then an unexpected player steps up. Wilson might have him. Wilson might have him. Wilson! Make an impact. 6-7. Huge catch, man. Holy... I don't think any receiver on the field is catching that, but I somehow he did. Stevenson finishes off. What a play from the rookie. Defense does their job. We have a chance to go and take a bigger lead. Xavier Worthy. Beat a man coverage. First quarter over. Perfect first quarter. Got a halfback stretch here. Six minutes and a second. Take a two best in lead. Would be huge. Xavier, I mean, Stevenson hits the edge. Stevenson! They played the pass there and they followed the receivers all the way downfield. But then another offensive lineman injury. A 10. Trent Brown's hurt. Um, that's a big one. That's our left tackle gone. One of our best left tackles. Actually, our best offensive lineman is uh, out. Literally on the next player, backup LT gets beat and breaks the play. And that is a wild throw and an even wild catch. He swatted that shit down. I mean, you cannot make this shit up, bro. One's wide open really quick. Let's Douglas get a block. But our defense stands tall and we get the ball back to extend the lead yet again. Not actually. Free form above him. He's 6'7. Six, 6'7. Seven. Six, seven. God damn. Up, 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 up. Perfect. We're on the same page. Xavier Worthy. I'll run him. Let's go, Worthy. Make a man miss. And we get slammed. We're going to block Stevenson. Matt Breida. Sign him to the team on free agency. 93 speed. He's going to get the rep here. Matt Breida. To the two. Come on, Stevenson. Come on, Stevenson. Stevenson finishes it. 14-3. to three. We're playing out of our minds. But then some more whack shit happens. Give it to him there. Man, man, miss. Nope. No! No, no, no. Xavier Worthy in the locker room. Oh, no. The locker room is not what you want to see there. Nice, though. Bruce Sternum. Yeah, that's a big hit. He is good. He's gone. Circle. Neighbors. Neighbors breaks a tackle. Switches the field. See, if that's Xavier Worthy, he's gone. Like a missile. We stall out, then out of half. It's a 14-3 game, and we have the ball. Not even. Look at Wilson blocking. Holy shit. He's the best blocking receiver I've ever seen. This guy might, he might earn his job on his team. He might earn his goddamn job. I mean, look at Wilson here. He gets on the corner, blocks perfectly, perfectly timed switch to the safety. I mean, I think he's earned the wide receiver three spot just by this game itself. Looks like a bomb, kind of. Pick up that block. One-on-one -on -one or just throw it. Just throw it to him. Malik Neighbors, one-on-one. This guy wasn't even guarding him. Holy shit. We stall out in the red zone and is forced to take a field goal. We get the ball back late in the fourth quarter and we're chewing clock and then some other whack shit happens. And he's hurt. Stevenson's hurt. Stevenson is hurt. Oh. In the locker room, too. Dislocated wrist. He's missing some time. We do get a dominant win, but man, these injuries are going to hurt us in the future. We lost our best offensive lineman, Trent Brown. We lost our center, David Andrews. Stevenson's probably going to miss a decent amount of time. And Xavier Worthy is also injured. 24-10. to 10. I would say a come out game for Wilson. I gotta go find his first name and put him at wide receiver three. Johnny Wilson. So Johnny Wilson will be our slot receiver now. He's a big guy. We are on to week 16 against the best team in the NFL, the 12 and two 49ers. Which is pretty bad, but uh, let's see, let's see, maybe, oh, maybe, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was wrong, 14 after the start. But that's a wide open circle route. Death, taxes, and Stevens to hurt. Already? You couldn't even go a quarter? See if he can make a play. He does. Read the guy. Wilson's first target. Wilson's first catch. Breaking tackles. Huge. Came up huge for us last game. The drive stalls out and we're forced to take a field goal. Our defense stops the 49ers and we got the ball back. We're going to have circle as an option. It's Xavier Worthy. He's quick. Get down. Don't get injured. Maybe. Maybe. Make the throw. Xavier Worthy. Clutch throw. Give it to our first round traffic. Wilson's first game as a starter and he's in for the first touchdown. 
They answer, oh, we missed the, ex we missed the extra point. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We missed the extra point. Surely that will have no impact and we have a chance to go and extend the lead. Gonna have him under pressure. It's a Wilson again, his first game. This is kind of a crazy play call. Quick throw to Wilson is the only thing I see. Gets slammed. We're gonna get a field goal and get a five point lead. Coach wants to go for it. No. Let's go, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Let's get it! Oh my god, coach is the smartest person alive. The drive is alive. We got Dan Campbell ahead, coach. But we still did not score and have to take another field goal. Perfect. We go into halftime about five points, but 49ers score on their opening drive and get a field goal. Wilson's gonna screen goal here, gotta be careful. It's not open at all, but we're just gonna have to throw it and take the loss. Johnny Wilson injured. Well, maybe we shouldn't have taken loss because now there goes a wide receiver three. Just like that, our most impactful player this game and last game is now out. But we have a two point lead and have the ball and want to get in the end zone badly. Seems, seems. Highball this above him. Maybe. Wow. Fourth quarter started two point game. Holy mother of God. We are in a heater. Third and one, it's so open. Stevenson in. Two possession game in the fourth quarter. Let's go. But the 49ers score touchdown and we have the ball back and the pressure is on. This ain't good. Throw it to the corner. Come on. Oh, Xavier Worthy. Neighbors, I'm looking at you, buddy. I'm looking at you, neighbors. I'm looking at you, neighbors. Neighbors, man. Just like that, we gotta punt the ball back to the 49ers off a crucial drop by Neighbors. Oh my god. 35 seconds, no timeouts, man. We're screwed, we're gonna lose this shit, man. And we're sacked, and that's game. Man, this was a bad loss. Multiple drops, injuries across the field. We lose by one point because of that dumbass extra point miss. We could have went into overtime, but no. We take a crucial loss, and now we have to win out to make the playoffs. Here's the dilemma. Two games left in the season. We're one game out of the division. We have a tiebreaker over the Jets. We burst Dolphins last week. We went out. We make the playoffs win the division. We lose, we go home. We win out, we make the playoffs. That's the deal. We're against the 5-10 and 10 Bears, and we gotta win this damn game. Again, if he goes back to that old, we're gonna wait for the blocks to settle, then take off. Good start for Stevenson. 33 yards already. We try to get the run game going because we know Stevenson could carry us to a win. At this point, we all know it's not a game unless someone gets injured. And he's hurt. Okay. See if he goes in the locker room. He is holding his wrist. Douglas underneath. And that's a broken tackle by Douglas. Fourth and one. Coach, what's the call here? He wants to give it to Stevenson. I agree with the Stevenson call. But the formation they came out in here does not look good. Screw it. Screw it. Screw it. Come on, Stevenson. He gets it, right? He got it. Thank you. Thank you. Coach gambles on fourth down. And we convert and have a chance to go and take the lead. Here we go. Kill Williams to left. Kill Williams runs it in himself. Caleb Williams gets his first rushing touchdown of the season off a QB draw, and it came in on perfect timing. As we saw, the Bears scored, and we stutter out on our first drive, getting no first down, and we have to punt the ball back. Come on now. They have Austin Eckler? When, <laughs> when did the Bears get Austin Eckler? Christ. It's like the Bears actually were in a re- And we get a turnover right away. Let's go. Defense gets a huge turnover. We have a chance to take the lead or at least tie the game up. Johnny over the tops are only option. It's a bad throw. Maybe should I just... Guys. Maybe should I just try to take the field goal there? We get ballsy. Don't take the field goal. Try to get the first down. And it leads to an interception. The Bears score a field goal off that. And now we are down a touchdown going into half. And a halftime with the ball. It's going to be a must score drive, basically. So let's go. See what happens. Block set up. Stevenson pows through that hole. First down. It's R1. Right across the middle. Wide opens. Henry get down. Big conversion. Kind of a ballsy play call here. Come back route. One on one. Xavier Worthy. Huge. He's gone. What a play by Worthy, man. Huge play by Worthy there. Come back route. Beats the one on one coverage. Breaks a tackle and makes a guy miss for a touchdown. We get the ball back. One point lead in the fourth quarter. Stevenson yet again. Stevenson hits a hole. Stevenson. My house call. Steve, get the block, Wilson. No. Nope. Because that looks way more open than Douglas, but Douglas actually might have him. Douglas one on one. 
Douglas, that's why you got benched. Perfect. We kick a field goal at the two minute warning, puts us at a four point lead and the Bears have a chance to go and take the lead. And that's exactly what happened. Alrighty, time to, <laughs> time to game winning drive here. Drag underneath Wilson, out of bounds, third and two. Stevenson should have a first down here. Dude, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot get that shit knocked out there, man. I'm playing. Quick slant to Wilson. He's been our guy. First down. Huge conversion. Not open at all. Circle has him wide open, and we miss him. Hunter Henry's going to be wide open. Hunter Henry for 15, maybe? We'll call it timeout there. Wilson right across the middle. Wilson, hold on to it. Huge. Hurry up and hike this. We still have that one timeout in our pocket. Wait, Stevenson's open. Wide open. Hold on to it. Touchdown, Stevenson. He holds on to it. Oh, my God. Stevenson puts the team on his back. We get a huge win against the Bears there, and now we verse the Dolphins, likely for the division. <clears throat> we have a snow game for the biggest game of the entire season. But if we lose this, man. Everything's gone. All the grind was gone. But Stevenson, huge game last game. Starts off a 10 there. We found a better value with Wilson. RPO's going to be there if Wilson can block. And he's one of the best blockers on this damn team. Worthy for 13. First drive of a crucial game. We get in the field goal range, but we do not convert in a third and six and take a field goal. But the Dolphins respond in a touchdown. So now there's a lot of pressure on us to get some points on the board. As I said before, it's not a game without someone getting hurt. He's hurt. Neighbors, I'm calling your name. I'm calling your name. I'm still chopping frames, dude. What the hell's going on? But yet again, we fail to convert a first down in field goal range and is forced to take another field goal. 6-7 game. Multiple drives stalled out, but it's under control. Cross is going to be open. Can we make the throw? My neighbors, neighbors, slam to the ground. See what happens. See what happens. See what happens. Circle, circle, oh. circle. Oh, it's a, it's, a call. it's a house call. It's a house call. It's a touchdown. It's cover two. Yep. Wide open is the Malik neighbors. Pushes forward to the 25. Let's see what we got going on here. Triangle's butt naked open. Triangle. Hunter Henry. Oh, he's some. Oh, no. That's a bad injury. He's our youngest offensive lineman. He's one of our best. Oh, man. We get in the end zone, but that's a bad injury. We top off a big drive, and the Dolphins fail to score on their halftime drive. So now we go into halftime up three points. We got the ball at halftime, have a chance to get a two-possession game going. It's an RPO. Hunter Henry, I didn't even know it was an RPO, but Hunter Henry was so open, I threw it. I have all this over the safety. I mean, linebacker. Ugh. And we got to punt it away. We have the ball. We... S they had a turnover somehow, like on the first play. We got the ball back. Let's go. I don't know. Uh, hit the outside, maybe. Oh my God, yes. Juke in. Eh, man, Stevenson's so slow. Double ends the play call. Pro shot's gonna be open. How do you even miss that bad? Next down. Next down. We hit that one, Malik neighbors. A big drive, and now we have a 10-point lead in the fourth quarter, and the Dolphins fail to score, so now we just have to chew this clock out. We drive pretty far downfield and got it to the two-minute warning, but now the Dolphins can score, and they have all their timeouts remaining. They have, we have, they scored. Six-point game with the ball. Stevenson can end this here. Stevenson. Oh. Stevenson, oh my god, run past him, Stevenson! Huge! The D line missed the tackle. And that's game. We win the biggest game of the season against our division rival. And now all we can do is pray that the Jets lose and we win the division. <laughs> we made it. We won the division. After all our injuries, all we had to go through, we somehow win the division. I don't know how. Season is officially over the regular season. We somehow made the playoffs. We are going to look at the stats for the season. I mean, you take the score here. I mean, dude, some, I mean, he had four interceptions in one game. The turnup has been crazy. 
I mean, at the end of the season, he played amazing. Barely any. I mean, if we go by passer rating, I bet you all of them will be, yeah. Week 8, week 13, week 9, week 10, week 16. Top 5 are all in the second half of the, of the season. Rushing-wise, Stevenson, 1,550 yards, 14 touchdowns. Dude went nuts, and he got injured multiple games. Receiving-wise, yeah. Receiving-wise, we were rough. Look how much we spread the ball this season, though. This isn't so juju, but, uh... Yeah, wow. No 1,000 yards receiver, but the closest was Worthy. Which is actually kind of surprising. He missed four weeks. Holy shit. Stevenson was close as hell to Offensive Player of the Year. Offensive Rookie of the Year, we did get Xavier Worthy yet. Neighbors second. Buckle up. We are somehow in the playoffs, and we'll be facing a very good Ravens team. Let's see if we can do this. This is it. We made the playoffs thankful to injuries, our defense mostly, and our offense surviving. Uh, Yeah, we're here. We're against the worst team we can match up against. I hate to break the news to you guys. The Ravens literally run blitz and man coverage the entire time. Obviously, both go with each other. It's our kryptonite. Uh, we suffer really badly against blitzes and man covered teams, uh, like the Ravens. One, our receivers aren't good enough to get open or they're fatigued. Our offensive line can't hold the blitz, and Kale Williams sucks under pressure. It's the worst possible combination, but it gives me hope looking that they're all red and yellow. They're not that crazy anywhere. We got a good defense. If our defense can show up, our offense doesn't have to play that good, I hope. We're here. This is it. Stevenson needs to have a big game. Kill Williams can't fuck up, and our receivers need to get open. This looks like zone. Never mind. This looks like a... Actually, it might be zone. Stevenson, come on. Just get a couple for us. Come on. Possession? Yes! Stevenson holds on to a big, big catch. Our offense eventually stalled out, and we were forced to punt it away. Why is he throwing it so close to him? I'm free from that completely left. Let's see if our defense can hold... What happened? We got a touchdown. Our defense scored a f***ing touchdown. Defense wins championships, but our offense had to get going. Wilson over the top has him. Rat catch. Oh, let's go. Big completion. And we're sacked. Despite our offense's sad efforts, our defense makes another game-changing play. We just got a safety. Our defense has nine points. Our defense has nine points, ladies and gentlemen. We were driving downfield, but then this happens. Neighbors holds on. No! Thank you! Johnny! Johnny Wilson makes a crazy play, which keeps us alive to take a field goal. Our defense stops them yet again, so we have a chance to score again. Here we go. Throw it under him. Malik Neighbors hold on to it. Good shit, Neighbors. Good shit, brother. It's open. He actually made it. Caleb Williams made a great throw. Stevenson, 82 speed, breaks a tackle. Let's just hike it. Just hike it. Boom! Just like that, we head into halftime up 19 to zero. Our defense is playing absolutely amazing. They stop them out of halftime. We got good field position to extend this lead. Um, high ball this, high ball this. It's a Dr. Xavier Worthy. And that almost secures a total win. I'm not gonna hold it against you guys to watch me chew clock. They score a touchdown, we score another field goal and we end up with a win. We somehow just beat the Ravens head to head. Our defense, Outscored them. If we didn't have to score one point in offense, we'd have won that game. Kill Williams played great. Stevenson played very, very he played all right, I guess. 3.9 average isn't the greatest thing ever. Receiving Malik had a big game. Yeah, he was getting open a lot there. And he did fumble though, but it's fine. I just can't believe we just won that shit. I am shocked. Against the Bengals. Low key, their overall is worse. And their defense is. I would say worse, 30 in pass yards per game. That's what we want to see. We have upgrades available. Yeah! Oh Lord, here we go. Here we go. Cincinnati Bengals, divisional round. Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, all the above. Their defense is their weak suit, which is our strong suit. I think we actually match up better against the, Ra the Bengals than we do the Ravens. I'm gonna say it. We start off driving downfield very easily against the Bengals defense. Oh, but it's Wilson too, one of the fastest players on this team. Gets 14. Come on now. We're gonna take the risks. The league neighbors, one on one! Catches that shit. All right, I think the outside's there, cut up here. Stevenson, outruns that guy, Stevenson. Pushes forward all the way to the two. 
We start our first drive off with the bang. Come on, Stevenson. Come on, Stevenson. He's in. Third time's a charm. Our defense didn't let off from last week, stopped them again, and gave us great field position. Not there. Crosser. Crosser. Wide open in the end zone. Malik Neighbors. 14-0, mofo. 14-0. The Bengals score a field goal, making a 14-3 game. All right, here we go. Stay in the pocket. Remain calm. Wide open across the middle. Hunter Henry cuts up. Hunter Henry. How wide open can Wilson get is the question. And that Wilson is butt naked open. Makes a man miss. Stiff arms a man. God damn. And we get probably the worst combo I've ever seen in my life. What the hell is this? Looks like we're going to be taking a field goal. Square. Circle. Oh, my God. Why do I keep doubting coach? Why do I doubt him? And just like that, we have a 21 to 3 lead heading into halftime. Our beginning drive strikes out, Bengals score a touchdown, and then disaster starts striking. 12. Xavier Worthy hurt? God damn it. Uh, shoulders hurt. All right. Not good. He's on the sideline, so not, a, not, not that bad. Wilson's fine. Honestly, probably better, to be honest, stamina-wise and all that. Stevens. Oh, well, there goes, there goes him, so... <laughs> Just like that, we lose two of our top receivers, but I think they forgot about Demario Douglas, the champion. Roll out, roll out, roll out. Triangle's there. Triangle's there. Lead him perfectly. Douglas, his first snap in the game, and he breaks a tackle. His first snap in the game, and he's in the end zone to basically secure the game. Demario Douglas is back, baby. Just like that, we chew clock, and we head away with the win, and we'll be going to the AFC Damn Championship. That's it. We will head away with a win to the damn AFC championship. What a game from our defense, first off. But Kale Williams, perfect passer rating. 13 for 17, three touchdowns. Stevenson, he got injured, but he had 3.7 average, 72 yards and a touchdown. Malik Neighbors, another 70-yard game with a touchdown. Uh, playing great. Johnny Wilson did get hurt. Uh... Douglas was the biggest play of the game, I would say. We're going against the Kansas City Chiefs. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Yikes. Holy fuck. Look at those greens. 1, 2, 4, 1, 15, 1. Yeah, we're going against 99 Mahomes. They have the best scoring offense, the best scoring defense, and they're basically, they are top five in literally everything. Stevenson, uh, we need a big game from you. Good shit. Uh, I'm worried, yeah. This is likely to be, obviously, the odds are all against us. They stack up better in every single category. But their, rush, their pass defense is not great. The rush defense is number one in the league. And Chris Jones let us know why they're such a good defense. Uh, I say that, and we're going to get sacked, and we're going to punt it away. And the Chiefs score a field goal. Square is going to be open. It's Malik Neighbors yet again. Get out of bounds. Good play. First attempt. Especially the crossers make it past them. Malik Neighbors again. We were driving downfield great until this happened. Yep. 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 We're hitting them. One on one. Malik Neighbors. I think that was the right call. It's one on one. I'm looking at my best receiver on a crosser. A crosser on the best mean man beating coverages in the game. Really the only option here. I mean, he has him an inch. We lead it outside, but he just gets completely just sworn, man. And we find ourselves in a 10-0 hole early off in the game. It's not, man, but looks like we're still going to be toast. Oh, no, man. Oh, no. This team is just so unbelievably good. The Chiefs score another field goal, and two sacks later, we find ourselves in a third and 25, and it is just going downhill. Here we go. Big, big gamer immediately sacked. We are in a 20-0 hole heading into halftime. A complete switch of the last two games. Our offense can't do nothing, and our defense can't hold up with the Chiefs' offense. And that guy's playing out of his mind. Xavier Worthy, big catch there. If we can get a touchdown, we can have a glimmer of hope, but we got to score quick. But that glimmer of hope never came. But Johnny Wilson had something to say about that. Make a play. They're <laughs> not that crazy about it. I'm not gonna make it. That's Hunter Henry for a touchdown. Dude, he's going unfucking blocked. 
yeah, I was getting mad. Chris Jones, the one X factor on this team with goal line stuff, is going unblocked every run and makes us force a field goal, which basically ended the game. Only guy that had a step on him. Interception. I mean, I didn't expect us to make the playoffs, let alone make the AFC Championship, though. I mean, there's that. And just like that, our season comes to the end. We were a top four team when it was all said and done. I can't be that mad considering how low overall our team was. If you guys want to see more than this, make sure you let me know. This does take a lot of time to make. So if you guys don't want to see it, I'm not going to make it. But hope you guys enjoyed.